Hey guys, this is Raven from Digi Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 215. Amazon has announced that its Prime subscription membership fee will be revised soon, and the company has confirmed that the new Amazon Prime membership price in India will be at rupees 1499. The price hike will come into practice very soon. The exact date what which remains unknown at this moment. The Amazon Music service rolled out limited support for spatial audio in 2019. Today it adds support for more devices and even more albums you can listen to. This feature is free for subscribers on the unlimited tier. 360 reality audio is now supported on Sony's SRS RA5000 or SRS RA3000 wireless speakers as well as home theater systems like HD A9, HD A7000 and HD A5000. Amazon's Echo Studio is also supported too of course. This works through Alexa Cast on Android and iOS devices. Dolby Atmos support for the Sonos Arc and Beam sound bars is coming in the next few months. Facebook intends to rename the company to position itself away from the social media company tag. CEO Mark Zuckerberg is likely to discuss the renaming of the company at the annual Connect conference on October 28th. Facebook is working on AR and VR projects and the metaverse to diversify. Instagram is introducing new features this week to appeal to those who want to collaborate on photos and videos. Now Instagram is finally allowing posts to be created on the desktop. HT Aero has just raised more than 500 million US dollars from outside investors and the company is backed by the Chinese electric vehicle maker Zipping and is aiming on rolling out its flying vehicles in the year 2024. The Indian government is exploring a regulation that will mandate the testing of handsets to ensure they are not spying on the citizen of the country. The government is said to be compiling a list of trusted sources and brands for telecom equipment and network products to check for snooping. This regulation will cover the entire industry if it materializes and will focus only on Chinese brands. The IQ Z5 X has been launched in China as a sub-variant of the standard IQ Z5. The key IQ Z5 X specifications include a 6.58 inch 120 Hz refresh rate, MediaTek Dimensity 900 5G processor, 50 megapixel primary camera, and a 5000 mAh battery. The IQ Z5 X price starts at 1,499 Chinese yuan, that is around rupees 17,600. Geophone Next has appeared on the Google Play console listing. The listing shows the phone will ship with a Snapdragon 215 processor, HD+ display, Android 11 OS and a 2 GB of RAM. Geophone Next is touted to be one of the cheapest 4G smartphone in the country. Squid Game helped Netflix post a good quarter after a slow first half. Netflix added over 4 million subscribers from July to September period. Netflix is aiming at 8.5 million new subscribers by the end of 2021. PUBG new state is to get the launch trailer soon along with a big announcement. The big announcement could likely to release date for the PUBG new state. The PUBG new state promises to be a brand new take on the battle royale format with the inclusion of advanced and futuristic gameplay. Redmi Note 11 series is launching on October 28th in China. The lineup should include three variants: Redmi Note 11, Note 11 Pro, and Note 11 Pro Max or Plus. This brand has teased the first look of the Redmi Note 11. Redmi has confirmed the Redmi Watch 2 launch date for China. The company will be announcing it at 7 p.m. on October 28th. It will be unveiling along with the Redmi Note 11 series of smartphone. Xiaomi 12 series could arrive at the start of next year. It will have a significant improvements over Xiaomi 11 series. Xiaomi 12 series should be powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 898 chipset. Samsung gave you an option to customize the ink cover of the Galaxy Z Fold 2. It has extended the idea with a new bespoke studio starting with the Galaxy Z Flip 3 bespoke edition. The Galaxy Watch 4 series joined the fun as well but not the Z Fold 3. The Galaxy Bespoke Studio lets you choose the color of the front black and the frame of the phone. Right now you can pick between black and silver for your frame. For the front and black you have following options like blue, pink, yellow, white and black. Note that the camera island remains black. Like no matter what options you choose overall this gives you a 49 color combination to choose from and some color combos overlap with already existing paint jobs for the Z Flip 3 later on you will have an option to buy new panels and swap out the ones that your phone came with Samsung unpacked part 2 event bought bespoke customization to the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and the Galaxy Watch 4 series which lets you cater the devices to your own style. Staying on the style theme, Samsung announced a collaboration with French, Japanese electronic music and fashion label Mace and Kirsten for limited edition for the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Galaxy Buds 2. 
China's leading smartphone maker Oppo is developing high-end mobile chips for its premium handsets in a bid to gain control over core components and reduce its reliance on foreign semiconductors suppliers like Qualcomm and MediaTek. The world's fourth largest smartphone maker by shipments plans to use its own mobile system on chip in phones will out in 2023 or 2024. It will be decided based upon the speed of the development. Oppo thus joined the race of smartphone makers including Apple, Samsung and Xiaomi that are developing their own processor. Google Google on Tuesday unveiled the Pixel 6, its first smartphone using its Tensor mobile processor. Developing key chips in-house could also enhance supply chain control and possibly soften widespread shortages and disruptions. Earlier this year, in the month of April, Honor had launched a smartphone dubbed as Honor Play 5T Vitality Edition for the price of 1,299 Chinese yuan. Now the company is all set to launch a new smartphone under the Vitality Edition branding in China. Today, Honor has confirmed by teasing a teaser poster that the Honor Play 5 Vitality Edition will be officially launched in the company's home market, China, on 25th October. We expect the company to share more details about the phone through teasers in the coming days. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.